I love gymnastics because I don't even know the answer to this question. <laughs> it requires so much dedication, so much attention to detail, so much commitment at a young age. It's all about faster, higher, stronger. Can you be the best in the world at, at, at like everything, the ultimate sport? Gymnastics is just so different. You can't just jump on the floor and do a double backflip. You have to be absolutely precise in every movement that you do. You have to do a round off backflip and then, you know, double twisting, double back into that. Then you're getting impressive. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a great feeling when you push through and you finish your routine clean. It's, it's an unreal feeling. Well, the men's team just missed out on a medal yesterday. They, they just finished out of that bronze medal position. Could the women do it today? Beth Tweddle is there at the Olympic Arena. And give us a, a realistic assessment, Beth. So um, we had a great, a, a few, a mixture in the qualification. There was a few falls, so hopefully we can iron them out today. But realistically, we're top five in the world, but we could sneak a bronze today. And you know all of these girls. You've competed with them all. We've got the Downey sisters. We've got Claudia Fragapani. We've got Ruby Howell. We've got Amy Tinkler. What, what are they like and what are their strengths? Um, the difference with this team is they've really bonded together. The team spirit is huge. You've got a lot of characters within that team, but it all just seems to work really, work really well. Ruby has really taken on the lead of sort of becoming the team captain. You can hear the noise now, so apologies if you can't hear me properly. Um, but together, they just work so well as a team. If one person makes a mistake, they all rally around each other um, to get back up and make it right. And the USA are obviously hot, hot favourites here for gold, and they're led by Simone Biles. It's their huge excitement.